lots of different kinds of trucks work on the construction site. Most of the trucks run on diesel, but some of them are coal trucks. They run on coal and water. Isabella is a little steam lorry. Today, she's bringing in the new fuel for the diesel trucks. They are starting work at a green field. The trucks have to dig the field, ready to lay the foundations for the new farm buildings. Max and Monty pull up near Isabella. Yuck! Can you smell that? Max said to Monty. Oh, smells like a stinky old steam lorry to me. Monty replied, and they both laughed. <laughs> Isabella was offended. I'd rather smell of coal than diesel, Isabella snapped back. Isabella chuffed away, but Max and Monty followed her. Steam engines are so old. I hear Miss Jenny's going to get rid of them and have all diesel, said Max. About time, too, said Monty. Steam lorries are rubbish. They can't haul as much as us. Isabella tried to ignore them. But she knew Max and Monty were right. She couldn't haul as much as them. Isabella wondered if Miss Jenny really was going to get rid of all the steam lorries. That night, when the trucks were parked in the yard, the fuel man came in. He filled up all the diesel trucks with their new fuel. There you go, the fuel man said. This is the special new diesel, just in today. This made Isabella even more upset. She never got any special fuel. All she ever had was coal and water. The next morning, the trucks all started up and went back to work. But they hadn't been going long when... POP! What was that? cried Isabella. That, said Monty proudly, was a backfire. That's something you'll never do, said Max. Steamies can't backfire. They can only puff. And pop! They backfired again. Soon, all the diesel trucks were backfiring. And backfiring looked fun. Isabella really wished there was something good about being a steam lorry, but she couldn't think of anything. But then she saw Jack. He didn't look pleased at all. I don't feel well, Jack complained. My pistons ache. I don't want to backfire anymore. Soon, all the diesels were feeling unwell. They moaned and groaned. The fuel tanks gurgled and their pistons ached. It's the new fuel, wailed Monty. It must have been a bad batch. The truck drivers went to see Miss Jenny. They had to tell her what was going on. They were missing lots of work time. We need to be cleaned out and get some good clean fuel, cried Max. Somebody go and get us some, Monty whined. I feel awful. But none of the diesel trucks could go. They were all feeling unwell from the new fuel. One by one, all trucks looked at Isabella. I could go, said Isabella, if I wanted to, perhaps. Please go, said Max desperately. We'll do anything, Isabella thought for a moment. Then she smiled to herself. Who's the best truck on the island of Sodor? said Isabella. Um, you? said Monty hopefully. And who's the best steamies or diesels? said Isabella. Steamies, mumbled Max and Monty. And who's the most beautiful truck in the world? Isabella, said Max and Monty. Isabella was very pleased with herself. And when the drivers returned, Isabella went to fetch some good, clean fuel for all the diesel engines. Mm -hmm. 
That night in the yard, all the diesels were feeling much better. They'd had the bad diesel cleaned out, and they'd been filled up with some good clean fuel. Do you really think steamies are better than diesels? Jack asked Isabella. Of course not, said Isabella. I think we're all just trucks under our paintwork. Me too, said Jack. But my paintwork is a bit more prettier than Max and Monty's, Isabella added.